<laughs> All right, Amaryllis, now your exercises. So, do, la, re, ti, mi, a little slower, and please keep the fingers curved and nice as high as you possibly can. Don't get faster, dear. If you don't mind my saying so, it wouldn't have hurt you to ask what the gentleman wanted. I know what the gentleman wanted. What? You'll find it in Balzac. Excuse me for living, but I've never read it. Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with that same old comment about the low mentality of River City people and taking it all too much to heart. But Mama, <laughs> as long as the Madison Public Library was entrusted to me for the purpose of improving River City's cultural level, I can't help my concern that the ladies of River City keep ignoring all my counsel and advice. But darling, when a woman's got a husband and you've got none, why should she take advice from you? Even if you can't quote balls like in Shakespeare and all the mother highfalutin Greeks. Mama, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. Now I haven't changed a subject, I was talking about the stranger. What stranger? With the suitcase who may be your very last chance. Mama, do you think that I'd allow a common masher? Now, really, Mama, I have my standards where men are concerned, and I have no intention. I know all about your standards, and if you don't mind my saying so, there's not a man alive who can hope to measure up <laughs> to the planet of